Jesus' name, we give you praise for your mercy. We are asking that Lord, your prayers for to be in our midst, O God. Even the breath of life by your mercy. I will trust to God that your word comes to us expressly, making us to be all that we are called to be. That day by day we become like you in our nature and walk in the stature of our destiny in the name of Jesus. That this morning we are not just to be a people who spectate, but I will receive your word in the name of Jesus. As a fellowship, I'm one with the Spirit, I'm pressing. As a fellowship, as a fellowship, one with the Spirit, pressing. As a fellowship, as a fellowship, I'm one with the Spirit, I'm pressing. I'm pressing in as I fellowship, as I fellowship, I align with the Spirit, I align with the Spirit, as I fellowship, I'm one with the Spirit, I'm one, as I fellowship, as I fellowship, one with the Spirit, pressing in the calm, God of the Holy Ghost. This morning we drink from your word of truth and by the spirit of truth, O oh God, we are asking that the life of your word will break forth in our spirit, man. That we will not go back home without having light in our spirit. That light for individuals to ascend to the height of their callings. Light for individuals, O oh God, to come forth into breakthroughs and diverse expression. Light for us to rise into the stature of who we are created to be. We receive this morning in the name of Jesus. Shout Amen. All right, let's have a seat. So very quickly, let us to go to the Word of God. But if you are married this morning, you don't have this book. Let me see your hand. You are married. You are here. You don't have this book. Let me see your hand. Please, on time, on time, on time. You are a married person. So all my people have this book. Ah, come and take some. Come and take. Come and take. Come and take, please. One of you has to give this out. Anybody who is married without this book, ah, you are sitting sit down. Come and take now. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Come and take. Please come and help me this, because I don't fall down. So, I think the, this tray, yes, where it is, can fall down. Move it to the module. The person that put the thing there, God bless the person. He did not study science, center of gravity. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. All right? Sorry, Barry Dabi. Ah, one person, one for you and your husband. One for you and your husband. One for you and your wife. One for you, so. Uh, is somebody who's having a birthday today? You are in church of birthdays today. Anybody like that? Nobody. No birthday today. Glory to Jesus. You are your birthday between. Wait, wait, wait. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. 
Okay, I'll be by us. I'll look at your face and give it to you. You are single, you don't have this book. Let me see your hand. You are single, you don't have this book. Let me see your hand. You are too many. You are too many. You are a first time man. Let me see your hand. Three of you. Just come and take. One, two, three. Come and take. So, don't say because it is free. You read it all. Praise the Lord. All right. I'm not giving you to go and put on your shelf for decoration. No. Please read it. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Can we open our Bibles to Acts chapter 20? Acts 20. So, um, we looked at um, governmental prayer to bear your and um, we post on it. Then I decided to complete the teaching on power dimension of God's word. Power dimension of God's word. Tell me about power dimension of God's word. You are saying it. It's like you are not talking to the devil. All right. Now, you must understand this. The reason for this teaching is for us to benefit from the written word and the word spoken to us in our times of prayer. Now, most of us, you know, if you grow up in my own time, I think we'll be teaching on that later on, there's a discipline you are taught once you become born again. It's called quiet time. How many of us have been taught about quiet time? All right? We grow up, they will teach about quiet time. If a quiet time is a time you spend personally reading your Bible and then you would pray for what you have read from your Bible. So quiet time was a discipline that was the old book of Esther, was that for Esther chapter 1, the verses in cluster, and explain it. And it's a daily demand. So those are things that came out of their personal study of God's word. How do you mean? So we're talking quiet time. So, there, so as a believer then, once we come born again, the practice of reading your Bible is just normal. And then you are not even reading it to come and show. If fact, sometimes then, when we meet to share together, people share for a quiet time. What do you learn for a quiet time today? So you share with me, I share with you that way. That's the way we do fellowship at that time. Amen. Some of you are excited to share with your friends. We have something that's very, very mind-blowing that blessed you. So you go to somebody's room in school then, you share with the person, then become a prayer meeting. The whole room starts to pray. People that are there with you and all your family start to pray with you because what has been shared generated an energy for prayer. Am I talking to you? And that's why most of those people that have seen those days, they have solid foundation. You will see that most of them don't have divorce in their home. So they are well rooted in God. Many of them are not even pastors today, but their leadership in any church they are in. They are well rooted. In fact, then you can trust a believer from the campus. Because the person is just discipled. And many of them became leaders in churches like Four Square, the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Anglican, and some of them stayed in Methodist. Like Papa Michael A. He's not an name himself Methodist. But people don't know. But that's where they grew from. So, the essence of this teaching is to make sure we maximize the written word. Number one, to start reading the word of God for yourself. And then to start understanding the dimensions of God's power that comes to you by the word of God. So, God say. The people that are into enchantment and incantation, they do it by words. Enchantment doesn't just happen by just looking. They say something, and then something happens. So the force of enchantment is the word that has spoken. And as we go and we go and meet those DBS and native doctors, when they give something to the person, they will tell you how to use it, and they will tell the person what to say, and you have to memorize what to say. Such enslavement and such wilderness of soul. So memorizing good song, memorizing incantation. And that's the way they pass it down from generation to generation as oral tradition. That should tell you that those native doctors are very intelligent. Because to have oral tradition of knowing different incantation for different you must be intelligent. Because they did write it in the book. I'm not talking to you guys. So, but the power is unlocked when the aura speakings are accurate. Are you with me? So, God's word is more powerful than all those incantations. 
But as believers, we've not realized it. And I've not really engaged God on that level. So, why I'm teaching this, or I've taught on this, I've shared something about it, is that you need to understand the power in the word of God that you're carrying in your Bible. Either it's on your phone, wherever it is, or your tablet, whatever. But there's power in that word that you're carrying. Such that when you understand that power, every time of your fellowship is a time of power. So, and that's why when you are in a situation and a scripture is inspired, that inspired scripture comes with power to do something. But because of our level of um, religiosity, we don't maximize that stuff. So sometimes the way we even release that word of God, it doesn't have the effect it should have. Are you with me at all? Are you with me at all? You are praying, God leads the scripture by inspiration to your heart. That scripture released. There's so much in it, you understand what I've thought thus far, such that you will see results. That's why when we pray then, we are sure that there's a result. And we've seen several results by God's mercy. Am I talking to us? So, I've shared this so that your personal daily interaction with scripture, you can experience personally this part dimensions of God's word, and you can minister it to people. Hallelujah. And then it changes your attitude to the written word and what's spoken to you, your time of fellowship. I use me this morning. And then what I also found out is this your 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 the small your daily communion with God has more power, more life. And as I'm just sharing this with us. And I wrote about it in the meeting this is in the I've been doing. And I realized that a lot of people have not read it. At least last Wednesday, people that came to church, they failed my exam. I asked them a question. They could not answer the question. Amen. Amen. So I've shared with us the eternal power of God's word. What do I call it? And I said, this eternal power of God's word is a river with many streams. Is what? The streams that made up this river I begin to explain them, their other power expression. Now, usually, you don't see that dimension operate as one. They operate in clusters. Just like hearing God is a cluster of your hearing, which is a kind of knowing in your heart, and that knowing you have to come with seeing. If you see a vision now, you need to know what that vision means. That knowing and understanding happens in your heart. I'm talking to you. Sometimes you see that vision, God opens your ears to hear. And what God says to you in your ear is an audible hearing. Am I talking to you? So, you can hear with your heart, you can hear with the ears of your heart, or ears of your spirit. So, meaning that most times, when you are encountering hearing God, you encounter two dimensions, minimum. Is that you are seeing and knowing, or you are seeing and hearing, or you are hearing and knowing. Am I talking to you? Am I talking to you? Do you understand now? So, the same way, all these dimensions of God, they operate as a cluster, not just as one. It means that there's an overlap in all of them. But for understanding, is why I separated it. Glory to Jesus. So, I said in that power dimension of God, that we say that there's eternal power of God's word. God's word has eternal power. And that eternal power is explained to us that it implies, it's not my message, Joe. This is what I'm doing. Just add time to it. Glory to Jesus. And that power dimension of God's word. See, God really helps us all. Because sometimes I'm thinking that, how are we going to do it? This present issue that we have somewhere in the body is because of the kind of dilution that has come to when it comes to the teaching of the word. Because some of us grew up sitting under the world for 12 hours. They will try it now. In those days, it was normal for some churches to close by 2 o'clock. And you are not tired or bored. Hello? Am I talking to us? It was not, it was no man. Just that you are in for a roller coaster today. So it was no man. But now, if you try it. So, and the, the danger that we have with the. The feeling is fine. It helps not to waste people's time. Because people always waste time too. Because the place too, you are there, they are telling you about dog pursuing cat, cat pursuing lion, and you are three hours of boring. So you are just sleeping. But where God was really taught was the fact 
I remember Papa Adewe in those days when I used to go to camp. The first site by the roadside, my best place, that first place that is for camp then. Papa Adewe comes up around God's what is powerful in what to call present or today. God's what is powerful we call tomorrow or the future. And I said to you, for you to understand that, just think about 1930. 1930. That was the time of Baba last revival. God's word was powerful in 1930. Are you with me? Powerful to save, powerful to bring healing, powerful to deliver, powerful to bring signs and wonders. Are we together? Powerful enough to take over all the Ibuai war, forbidden forests of those days. Many of those places, there are places that they have roads pass through them. In this of Ayubaba Bawala, they were called the forbidden forest, where there were demons inhabiting the place. We call them in Yoruba, Inwe. Have you heard about Inwe before? You never heard before? Ah. So who are named Inwe, Dire, Inwe, Tola? You ever heard? Ah. <laughs> okay. Is that what Tola that you know? You know, Inwe. When you say Inwe, Inwe is a demon. I never heard about Inwe before. That's why you are a person. I don't know what they call it in your Igbo language or other language, but we call it in way. So in the Igbo I was, in the Forbidden Forest, do we have things like that there? Only those um, native doctors, some of the chief um, Dibia or chief native doctor in the place, I mean, in the area, will go into those forests. And so when they want to test Babala in those days, they will give them those forests. And the Babala will go there, will pray. They will chase out all the spirits that are there. They will build church in the place. I believe that people like Ababa Ola, that revival of 1930, is why Southwest is more developed than other parts of Nigeria, personally. Because when there's life, there's development. There's what? That's why civilization began with Christianity. Are we together? So you have to understand that. So, so I'm trying to say that that was powerful in 1930. Are we together? Now, in 1970, it's still what? Powerful. Today, 2024, it's still what? Powerful. So I'm saying the power residents in Psalm 23 at work in 1930 that power has not abated in 1970 and today 2024 is still powerful now for us we don't just have the scriptures in our bible in paper form we have it in different media and now listen which means a gentleman of god preaching from scriptures in 1930 if it's recorded as audio or video the power to work in that audio that brought salvation, deliverance, and healing in 1930, can produce a game where the same audio now is played in 1970. Are you with me? If you play the same audio today, it's available. Meaning that if you watch the video of 1970 today, a meet of 1970 today, in 2024, and you are having Let's say, for example, you're having <laughs> a problem that has to do with healing. And the man is preaching and is praying generally for the sick. You can key into that and get healed by that word that is preached in 1970. Today, 2024. For the power of that spoken word in 1970, is the resident trapped in that video? You're not with me. Are we together? Is what? Let me leave the other one. This one I've shared with you. I've applied it in many ways. And I've seen results. That means I'll give you personal... Let me leave it. So I will share about it. Amen. Amen. Somebody said something somewhere. And when I replied to the person, I said, I know a technology. The matter technology. What person has said cannot happen to me. But this is what I'm talking about. I don't want to give full details deliberately. So I tell you, I said, come back, yeah. It's going to be applicable to some people, but not to me. Because I understand the eternal power of God's word. So I said, I said that person doesn't have a video. Uh, one video is enough. Let's leave the rest. One day I will be sorry about it. I just need one anointed video. That's all. Hello? And I'll come to tell the person, plus the right art. Uh, with the wrong art, nothing shall flow. <laughs> Just the one that was the right art. Hungry art and the right art. I want to write video. That's the rest is history. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's power of God's word. Oh. Okay, I'll tell you I'm going to give an example. So, in that river is the creative power of God's word. You can speak those things that be not as though they are. You can encounter God's word and receive those that be not as though they are. Are you with me at all? In that same dimension of life is that that word is infallible. Is what? Is what? Of course, there are four dimensions to that. There's a conditional aspect to the infallible word of God. Meaning that if you are not in a certain dimension of life, some things may not happen to you. Do we get it? To receive from God, you need the substance of faith. Faith is consistent. There's the anointing. There's the glory realm. But faith is very consistent. Am I talking to us? Then I spoke to us about the fact that that same word is restorative. Is it clear? I said that to us. The word is illuminative. Hallelujah. There's the impartation, activation, things like that. I didn't share that with us, but I mentioned those things to us. Now, I want to share the last two, which has to do with the equipping power and generation power. So I started sharing on Wednesday about the generation power of God's word. How you made this money? And I want to read some scriptures, just the foundation again, for people that don't listen to Wednesday service. You are best in the generation. In our generation, there's no YouTube, there's no Facebook, there's no... <laughs> when we're growing up. So if you miss the service, you have missed the service. But if you miss the service, you can rewatch. But the generation that is blessed with the ability to rewatch and software to rewatch, they are not rewatching anything. Have you have watched a video that is Nollywood? Don't lie, you. Nollywood. And the other one that is Hollywood. The third one that is Bollywood. Glory to Jesus. And you enjoyed it and you watched it again. Be sincere under God. Let me see your hand. Thank you for being sincere. This is you are not sincere. Let me see your hand. This is Or what is the word of knowledge? Call your name and say you have done. Dave, there's this your hand. This is now. And then she buy. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 the rest of the back, they are lying. <laughs> what about here? Uh -huh. But do you know that we don't do watch messages? Some people do watch messages, but some people don't watch messages. I will now wonder why we are not getting some things done in our lives. Sometimes there are messages you need to listen to like seven times. I come many times? I come many times? We go ahead and the name of Jesus. All right, so I advise you, the first part that I shared, I'll just give you a summary of it. Go and watch the, <laughs> where is the message? It's online. And it's also on Facebook now. All right, that will be stream on Facebook now. If it's done well, they're streaming on Facebook. I'm sure media team for trying their best to stream on Facebook. It's on to the point. <laughs> well, we'll meet after service, so for my own appreciation, it will come with Rod and the staff. They comfort me. All right. All right, because it's coming with the shepherd anointing. Acts 20, verse 32. To this point, have you followed me? All right. Now, if you are not born again this morning, please don't go without being born again. Because what I'm sharing, you cannot step into without being born again. I just have a sense that somebody here this morning that you're not born again, but you're in church. I beg you, don't go without being born again. Glory to Jesus. And now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of what? If you understand what I'm talking about, what I've taught in this, you will see why it is foolishness. If I is insult to consult a native doctor or one allergy somewhere or have somewhere, or they give you something to put under your pillow, you should tell them to stop insulting you. Do you understand? It's an insult. Because that's what they try to give you. Our father created it by the word of his mouth. Hello? Are they making it with dust or with a plant? What are they going to use to create that thing? God created it. If they spit saliva on it, God will give the one of have saliva. So, <laughs> amen. And now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace. What of his what? All the hearing is that God's word is as grace embedded in it, which is able to do what? Build you up. Shout God with his word. Is able to build me up. So Paul is saying here that God is able to build people up. And I said, and to give you an inheritance. Because for you to walk in your destiny, you must have an inheritance in God in the line of your destiny. 
to give you what among them which are sanctified of course i don't focus on that qualification but that's very very important that was sanctified there is very very important it's not saying here i mean to god one of his grace able to build you up which is talking about able to equip you shut keep. so the written word is able to equip you what's spoken to you while you are working with i'm in fellowship with god is able to do what equip you are we together and while we're in church the purpose of the fivefold ministries or the fourfold ministry, whatever they call it, is to equip you. The apostle, the prophet, the evangelist, the pastor and teacher, they are to equip you. And how do they equip you? They are not equipping you with modern biology. They are not equipping you with about bio, which is chemistry that we used in our own time. If you don't know about bio, because I was told that when I was about bio in school now, they are using one clinical science, science, science teachers. God bless the name of Jesus. I hope it's a better textbook because, because uh, amen. Amen. Uh, so, okay, okay, I don't know. So they said they are feeding, freezing them out. It is well in Jesus' name. I read one textbook of chemistry. Opala is the author. Very powerful. I've not seen it in the market again. And I've given my own out. I want to read it again. I like that textbook. Very sweet. Only for organic chemistry. Glory to Jesus. So, you are equipped with the scriptures. You are equipped with the Bible. You are equipped with the word of God. Are you with me? Are we equipped? Are we equipped? The scriptures. So, everyone who is going to equip you has to equip you with this word. But you're also interacting with it personally. It can equip you. Are we together? Which means that if you apply this also, I can take a 1970 message and the sharing there is equipping me. Am I talking to us? Is doing what? Now, Second Timothy, chapter three, verse sixteen says, "All Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine. For what? Doctrine is a word that means teaching, simply, for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness." So God was able to build us up and keep us, train us, nurture us, instruct us. Are we together? And I said in verse 17 that the man of God, say that man of God is me. Come when you see the man of God, we quickly think about the apostle or the prophet or the evangelist. Say I'm a man of God. If I let me tell you the truth. Okay, it's actually the truth. I've told you before. My nickname on campus was M-O-G, which is what? Man of God. But they came looking for me in school. They just told me I'm looking for a man of God. So they brought him to my room that this man of God. <laughs> that was me. And that's my nickname. Man of God. M-O-G. Yeah, we didn't appreciate it like that. Just you know. But I appreciated it. That I'm called M-O-G. I was not called Rumole. <laughs> uh, amen. I had a friend who became born again later. He was Capon for Bukania. He was called Rumole. Uruko Buruku. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. You know, like I said, the win names. I just remember Ogo Dewi now. So that yes, now Ogo Dewi is the name now. That put a bear Ogo Dewi. You've heard Ogo Dewi before. Oh, it is well. Oh. That's why Christianity changed everything. You know, because of what's happening now. You see Tolu and me, Tijesu and me. This and this and this. A generation will arise. They will never know that there was some Ogo. Couple are changing their names. It will come that you to find a should be will be very rare. <laughs> There's a should be now. <laughs> they are just fading out. Are we together? Are we together? Uh, you know, we cannot go and do them now. We ask you, Gundi, we ask the person, are you okay? <laughs> Even Baba Tunde and Yabo. They are fading out. Baba Olode. <laughs> All right. So, that the man of God, say, I'm the man of God here. Yeah. Say, speaking about me. Say, I'm anointed. We need to walk in that consciousness that you're anointed as a child of God. That the man of God may be what? Perfect. Perfect here is to mature. That we are mature by God's word. Say, perfect. Thoroughly what? Fully on what? Good works. I love the way it was put in some other versions. Ah, uh, Let me read it in... One of the modern translations, which is um, okay. 
Let me, let me, let me read God's word first. It was that gave me God's word though as a gift. I'm sorry, that gave me as a gift. I don't think you even remembered. Gave me God's word as a gift. When he came out for service here, he said, this gift is given to me. That's my first encounter with God's word as a, as a version. <laughs> Do you remember at all? You don't, you don't remember? I'll make it to you. I don't remember. See this man of God. He came out for service and said, give me a gift. Give me God's word. You don't remember. If I read the Bible, you know that that Bible has been touched by God. Because... <laughs> I'll read the church, just show you one of the museum. It's not museum. All right. Every scripture, this is God's word. Every scripture passage. See every scripture passage. That's telling that every passage from Genesis 1 to the last chapter of Revelation. Every scripture what? Every what? Is inspired by God. All of them are useful. How many of them? Oh. This kind of scripture tells you that if you have been trained to just be a New Testament reader alone, you are not being trained well. Because the authors of that testament built on the previous testament. So the life they received came from where? So what produced the new was the Old Testament. That I would say the Old Testament is New Testament revealed. And even the New Testament, no, even the New Testament is New Testament. And then revealed the relation of that we see in New Testament is what we find from the old. Are we together? Are we together? So it says here, it says that it is useful, all of them, for teaching, which is doctrine, pointing out error, correcting people, and doing what? Training them for life that has God's approval. I want to get out. And as I ask the approval, it's not just don't commit fornication, don't steal, don't lie. It involves fulfilling your destiny. You being the job that ever designed you for. Are you going to get at all? Are you with me? Not you being a medical student, becoming a medical doctor, whatever designed you to actually be a banker. Do you, do you get the point? Uh huh. Uh, your parents want to just go and study um, medicine. So you have to understand that. You are designed for something. Are we together? Follow me. Are we together at all? Hallelujah. So, Mommy Zion, come and follow me carefully. Verse 17. They keep God's servant so that they are completely prepared to do good things. They do what? They do what? So, so God's what they keep. And we are saying that Meaning that that's why some people that became born again, just had to go somewhere they were born again, and then, like the Ethiopian Enoch, on his way back, Philip met him, explained as that to him that was reading, and Philip did not follow him. He was baptized in water. How about together? And he went back to Ethiopia, and we were told that was one of the hub of Christianity in Africa. How about together? From there, if you read the church history, bishops rose. And then from that Ethiopia, God began to spread to Egypt and other places like that. You get that again. So you can be equipped. So people that have access to scriptures don't have access to any man. They are equipped by the scriptures. And if they are not access to the Holy Ghost, powerful, that's the teacher. The teacher begins to teach them. And that's why I can share something here. And then the teacher shows you all that scripture that confirms what I'm saying. I'm not talking to you guys. And then the teacher also shows you. Give you expenses that you will, those expenses align with those that I have shared and cause it to you. Meaning that you have your own customized understanding of what has been shared. So that you can also share the same thing with other people. Are you with me? Hallelujah. If I ask you now, come and share about hearing God with examples in your life. Your example cannot be exactly my own example. Because you can't hearing God in a different situation. Even on marriage issue, you don't have the same example in that area. That's if you believe on hearing God about marriage and not in dating sites. Because Joshua came with dating sites. Glory to Jesus. So, they keep God's servant so that they are what? Completely prepared to do good things. Shout out every scripture. Let me just leave it there because of my time. 
Is that clear to us? Is that clear to us? Now, I should tell you what is the, that at least there are about four dimensions to the equipping. So I talk about the nurture power. And I explained to them that when we read in First Peter 2 2, that talks about the Father, your body again. You desire the sincere make of the word of God that you will go thereby. That every time you encounter God's written word or God's word being preached to you, you are meant to grow. There should be what? There should be what? What is growth? Growth is your increase in understanding. Growth is your ability to do things that is your inheritance in scripture that I cannot do before. Are we together? Hallelujah. Your understanding of your authority as a believer makes you to see I mean, yourself being able to cast out demons. Are you with me? It means to be able to see that you can lay out on the sick, they can what? Recover. That if you take any deadly thing, it will not what? Hurt you. Now, growth makes those things happen. Growth makes people to sit down with scripture yourself as it stops in the scriptures. Growth is one of the major keys to unending answered prayers. That means I experience answered prayers from time to time. That I can say bully one day that I thank you, my God, because you always hear me. You know, all those that happen by growth. Are you with me? Are you with me? Being able to pray for another, another person to become born again and ask person to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit is just on growth. And these are not the dimension of life that is just for the pulpit, meaning that for a man of God. When we grew up, there was a time that there was a kind of doctrine that says that only apostles can cause others to be baptized in the Holy Ghost. And the doctrine was based on what happened with uh, Philip when he went to Samaria and then after the apostles, the apostles came and then they prayed. People came. So then it was people that if you can pray for people to be baptized in the Holy Ghost, you're like an apostle. It was a kind of doctrine then. But we discovered that it was a lie of the devil to separate some people from God's power. Anytime you see yourself pray for somebody and they're about to the Holy Ghost, you should be excited. That's God's power at work. You should be what? Excited. You should be what? Excited. And then, if you're not so your Christian life and you saw it, you should repent. That you're a mobile powerhouse that is living like you don't have power. So, when you preach in your place of work, somebody becomes born again. We expected that before you bring them to church, you are praying for them, they are the Holy Ghost. Are you with me? Are you with me? There was a time that when we were younger, that was what we just do for practice. So you try and pray for people, they get back to the Holy Ghost, they want to show your friends. So you go and preach to school students. Hallelujah. They get saved, that's say, I'm not praying for one person. I want to do Peter. Oh yeah, five of you. You teach them, and then you just pray for them. Five of them, by the Holy Ghost. And those days, it was dramatic. Pull forward the anointing. They'll be drunk, speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We have understood the name of Jesus. So, growth is very essential to a believer. Growth changes your perspective. There are things that when you grow, you repent of your way of thinking. Right thinking is part of growth. And a different area of our life that we need right thinking. Growth makes you to be able to do what you, you have done in three years. Now you can do it in 30 days. Do you understand? Your fasting and prayer becomes more effective because of growth. Because the knowledge you are taking to the fasting and prayer is not the same as you were before. Are we together? When, we used, when I used to do what we were doing with Billy Billy, you know me not Billy Billy? Billy Billy Billy, or Billy Billy, come here. Billy Billy, we used to do Billy Billy means that you are not taking water or anything. Three days. And then there was one I did, no water, nothing. Several days, but we didn't die. Glory to Jesus. But we have found out that medically, we were foolish. Because medically, you don't go, after three days, take water. Are we together? Why are you trying to impress with your several days without water? They said, God commanded it. God has not commanded it, take water out. So you know, I pay in heaven before time. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, the keeping power has the nurture dimension whereby you are growing. That means you are being nurtured, you are growing. You are what? Growing. That's why sometimes the same passage you read four years ago, you open the same passage. It's like the veil is taken. You see what has been there that you have never seen. And do you know how many times I have read the same passage and I have seen new things? The same passage, I have seen four or five things. The same passage. I have like five versions of understanding of the book of Ruth. One to four. That means I can preach five of messages from good alone if I'm led to preach it. But you know, I don't learn so I can preach primarily. We are learning to live. 
So what we receive, we are the first partaker. Do you get the point? So we know scriptures so that we can become what we are reading. Not to just talk about what we are reading. Hallelujah. So the nurture that I mentioned, nurture power is there. Are we together? So I shared that and I paused there. So let me go to the other one so we can close. Now the other one is the impartational dimension to a keeping. In a keeping, there's impartation. There's what? Talk to me now. There's what? I'm not talking to me. I said there's what? Impartation. Impartation is very powerful. Now when we say impartation, what do we mean? We are saying that God's word is able to bring impartation into your life. Now, impartation should be seen from this understanding. With impartation, you are able to do things you are unable to do in the past. Are you mean? Impartation gives you new capacity. New what? New what? New what? New capacity. New capacity comes upon you. New I can't help you now. There's also you have a new measure coming upon you. A new anointing coming upon you. You're able to function in things you cannot function in before. And as a child of God, when you're growing, that's something that happens when you're growing. So sometimes you don't, you're not even aware that by this growth you have been imparted. Every time we are seated in church like this, God's word has impartational power over us. So in this equipping dimension, the impartational power of God's word is at work also. Are we together? Hallelujah. And to give an example in scriptures, before my example, remember the, let me read for the scripture, for my example. This is Romans chapter 34. I think it's verse 9. Now, in Romans 34 verse 9, the particular itself is, a, is an understanding that you have to have. Some people talk against it, but the particular is a blessing. It collapses time for you. It does what? Because what some people got by prayer and fasting, and many years of really, really, you can get it just a day of impartation. And Joshua, son of none, was full of the spirit of wisdom. Was what? Joshua was full of the spirit of wisdom, according to the scriptures there. For Moses had laid hands upon him. Do we get that? That is to say, when Moses laid hands on Joshua, there was an impartation. There was what? The impartation was called the spirit of wisdom. And children of Israel acted unto him, and it as the Lord commanded Moses. Now, listen. When, before Moses lay hand on Joshua, that dimension was not there. All together. What I was describing here was not there. But when as was on Joshua, that thing came there. And it's called impartation. Are you with me? Now, I want you just to explain what impartation is all about. Now, impartation in our day understanding, for you to understand it, it's like installing a new software on your computer. Are you with me? When you put a new software on your computer that is not there before, let's just draw my example. You have, a, you have a computer that doesn't have any PDF reader. If there's any material online that you download that is PDF in format, can you read it? You need to have an installation of PDF software. There are different ones. For you to be able to do what? Read it. So when you install the PDF reader, you can open a PDF file. Just for now. Now, that computer will be able to open a PDF file. It's a new operation on that computer. It happens because of the software on that computer. A computer without software is, is nothing. I'm not sure it was. That's why, what I was, now, as a, as a, if I go to my profession, I can have ArcView software on my computer. Because I need an ad view to do some work. But for the person who is the banker, he doesn't need an ad view on his computer. Do you understand? So the installation is according to destiny. And our calling. That's the gifts and calling. So there are gifts that come your way by impartation. Am I talking to us? By what? So we can put it this way. There's a divine installation of new grace. That's me trying to put it to English so I can understand what I'm talking about. The object of this dimension of life. Of new grace, new capacity, new anointing, new measures, or abilities to function in your calling, to be what God has called you to be. To represent Christ in your self-influence. Do you get this point? Do you get this point? 
So as a believer, you are going to express that. And you know, if you are not careful, you can be updated. That's why every year, there's a piece of upgrading. Because sometimes, your software, there are a new feature added to it. So some of you, when God put into you a get hold of knowledge by the Holy Ghost, you have been operated at ankle deep. In that ankle deep, you can come and say, there's somebody here, this, 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 and this. And God wants to upgrade you to be able to say, my brother, stand up. That one is for you. That's an upgrade. That's what? Because sometimes they now have a, you know, even WhatsApp now, as they upgrade, you can show screen on WhatsApp now. WhatsApp did not sound like that in the beginning. Now imagine that your WhatsApp is still the one that cannot show screen. You are having a grace. We are living behind in God's light years. Do you get my point? So a new age of light can upgrade what you're working. Oh my God. Are you following my point? So if so, the installation, your, that's why fellowship is very important. As you stay with the world, you can have upgrade. You can have what? Upgrade. Which makes you to see a new dimension of the same gifting operation in your life. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Jai, when you are together, when you are together, he can say, I'm not like this. Papa is the one Let me take my wife. They have married me for some years now. I have several words. Upgrade. So what I say is this, there's an upgrade. There's what? What we try to call a new version of you is just an upgrade. Do we get it? So it's an installation to your life that gives you ability to function in a dimension of life that I've not been able to function before. And it's supernatural. Am I, am I talking to us? Papa Paul and Nation shared one of the meetings that I listened to some years back. He said he could not really sing before. Do you get my point? That he doesn't have a voice to sing before. But I want them in prayer. He started to sing. Uh-uh. And I said that, uh-uh. this is not your voice, Paul, but it is his voice today. Now, not only is he not singing now, produced like albums, he was, see, from Papa Ineshe, he's a life. He's not to show. So Papa tried to copy him. No, he's not to show. And I said, one day, one of the one I listened to, he said he was in an encounter where he saw, let me just mention one of them, Charles Wesley. Now, Charles Wesley is one of John Wesley. In the revival of John Wesley and Charles Wesley, which is called the oldest revival, Charles Wesley was the one that was composing the songs. Are we together? Now, when he came out of that encounter, he began to have songs flowing. Now, notice it. The songs of Paul Edeche normally, or Papa Edeche normally, they come like hymns in having their stanza. You notice that? That is the divine installation that happened by a work with God. Are you with me? Which of this divine solution can happen either man lay hands on you or you're studying scripture, God laid the word of God upon you. Or God put his hand upon you. God can put his hand upon you. Am I talking to you guys? That's why we should take our secret place very serious. Tell somebody it's time to take a walk with God serious now. Because see, there are a lot of things that we can come into. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So what happened is that the partition that I mentioned, you know, collapsed time for you. What nurture would do for five years or three years, the partition would do it in one day. The same thing happened. You woke up one day, you started playing instruments. In fact, it's even better. I don't get that. I woke up one day, I can play over 20 instruments. You don't get the point? You slept today, no music school, don't have an instrument. And then you woke up in the morning. And then you can play the trumpet. Do you get it? Are we together? And this is real. That's what Patricia can do for you. Am I talking to all of us? It is well in Jesus' name. All right. So, in Exodus 31, Exodus 31, Exodus 31, I read from verse 1 and I pause at verse 6. And not speak unto Moses, saying, See, I have called by name Bezali, the son of Re, the son of Hor, of the tribe of Judah, 
So God knows all of us oh, to that extent, to your forefathers. Uh -huh. Verse 3, and I've filled him. I've what? I've what? These fieldings that have been stored into him. This guy expressed divine installation with the spirit of God in wisdom, in understanding, in knowledge, in all manner of what? Workmanship. This guy has capacity for different kind of workmanship, craft work. Are you with me? Now, verse 4, to devise cunning works, to work in gold and in what? Silver and in brass. Now, verse 5, and in cutting of stones to set them and in carving of what? Timber. So this guy in the wilderness know how to work with stones. Have you all together? And to have beauty, he will go to set them. And I said, also, he can work with wood. Is that what timber? Have we together? Have we together? He didn't go to school to learn this. This was the divine installation. He didn't, was not an apprentice to learn this one. Am I talking to us? And I said, no matter of workmanship, and behold, and I, behold, I've given him, I've given with him our own lad, the son of Isamak, of the time of Dan, and in the arts of all that are wise hearted. So there were there were there was there was there was there was Bezali, there was Aulia, there were others called wise hearted. Are we together? Yes, now the measure is strong of Bezali. Are we together? Followed by a partner to work with him was called uh, I mean Aulia. And then there were other with more other measures who are called wise hearted. One at the same level with Bezali. Am I talking to you guys? And I said that I've put wisdom that day now, plural, may make all that I've commanded thee. There's a lot here. Hallelujah. Are you with me at all? Oh God. Let me read it in another version first. Then I'll go to the other one. I'll follow me carefully. So what you see here is an ability placed in a man called Bezali and other people. Now, if you read from God's word, Lord said to Moses, I've chosen Bezali, son of Uri, grandson of Or, from the tribe of Judah. I've filled Bezali with the spirit of God, making him highly skilled. Making him highly what? So now, I'm, I want us to apply this to normal day life, not just church meetings. That you can be highly skilled by the spirit in your occupation. In your entrepreneurial endeavor, you can be highly skilled by the spirit. And we, don't, we need to engage God in this dimension of life. How are we together? That's why I tell people that when they say somebody has gone to do what you about call Ogwe Soye. This thing that people call resourceful here is a divine ability. And we can have it. And knowledgeable in all traits. What this guy has is a capacity that is powerful. And Bible said, you know, he's a master artist, familiar with gold. Come on, shout higher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at my son. This guy has mastery. Do you get the point? He's a master artist, familiar with what? Gold, silver, and what? Bronze. He knows how to cut and set stones. Hello? Need bolo to equipment. Where did he get the how did he get the equipment to cut stones in the wilderness? They were in the desert. Do you understand? Do you understand? Do you get it? Do you get it? Is there in church to this one? Just song, we're singing it when I'm done. We're singing it when I'm done. We're colonized by the spirit and the word. Glory to Jesus. All right. There were new songs that we said last week, so he picked one of them. Amen. 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 And that song I want you to call me our song. Okay, now let's go to. I want to add something to it. Let me, let me just, just, just go and read this. Now, in, the, in, the, in, in chapter 35, he now said that he doesn't use the have the installation. Also, he has the ability to teach it. I've met a child that knows something, but they cannot communicate it. I have the ability to do what? You are not talking to me now. To do what? Yes. Let me just read that place to us. Because some of us look. So it's this church. I don't need to rush. Let me just read to us. All right. Let's look at Exodus 35. And I'll start from verse 30. Who said unto the church of Israel, See, Lord, I have called by name, Bezali, son of Uri, the son of all of the time of Judah, 
he has filled him with the spirit of God in wisdom, understanding, in knowledge, and no manner of workmanship, and to devise curious works, to work in gold and in silver and in brass. I believe every business person I missed, every person in any career I missed, for our skill, you need to get a prayer confession out of this place. That you speak to yourself every day. When you employ people, you speak to them as you train them. I'm not talking to you guys. And he said, to the vestibule's works and to work in gold, in silver and brass, and in cutting of stones to set them in carving of wood, to make all manner of cunning work. 34, he had put in his heart that he may teach. Hello. So the ability to be able to communicate the grace he has here in teaching. Both he and Aholi have some of Pastor Mark. So they will teach the other craftsmen. Do you get the point? Do you get the point? This ability here is divine. So here in the installation was just not the new capacity or grace to work in, but also the ability to teach it. In the name of Jesus. Do you hear me? So tell me I see God had come upon you in that dimension for what you do in fashion. You didn't hear me. Stand to your feet. I'm very serious. As I'm speaking, I see God can come upon you in that dimension of life that the thing that God is unlocking you the fashion world, not only are you going to just have the grace and the ability, you will teach many, says the Lord. Are we together? Now I'm serious about this. Sit down. Paroko to bati adabos. And I said, them are they filled with wisdom of heart to work on man of work of the engraver, Kai, and of the called workman, and of the embroider in blue, in purple. Now, this book is telling you about, you know, a sense for color. Do you know a sense of color? Have you, you don't have to have sense of color at all. You, you don't know. Ah, you need to go and check preachers in suits. Have you seen a man of God yellow suit before? Eh? You have not seen yellow suit with blue butter. Is there any here? I have seen yellow suit before. It was not just off. In the flesh it was off. In the spirit it was off. Hello. Now, he's saying here that even in this guy's work, a sense of color. I feel simple, I just know the colors. They just, when well, they don't need to be color, just perfect. Jesus anointed to do it. Then, material, scarlet, fine linen of the weaver, even of them that do any work, of those that devise corner work. So, these guys, their ability to work in the wilderness was divinely stored. Do we get it? This is the partition coming to place. Amen. I have other examples, but I'm not going there because of my time. Is it clear to us? So I'm saying that in the keeping, above the non-actual dimension, there is what? Installation. There is what? There is what? And I pray for you that from henceforth, as you scripture. See, that's why Ezekiel can say, the spirit entered me. Hello? Spirit did what? Entered me. Spirit did what? Spirit did what? In October 2008, October 2008. In October 2008. Just help her. Try and follow me. Glory to Jesus. Maybe one day I will do a teaching on the, on the, on the ministry of the Spirit. Manifestation. So that I've done it before in the past. Why I'm not doing it again? There's so much attack on manifestation now. So I don't want to. But for us in church to understand it. Do you get my point? So, so in 2008, just all that there. Uh, so, so, I don't want to shit for my teaching. I don't feel like shit for my teaching. Because sometimes we are not careful. We don't know. This is another thing. So, if you get anointed this dimension of life, I don't understand it. Manifestation can distract you. What you are supposed to teach. Eh? But the experience she's having is valid, and I know what is happening. But I don't feel I like should share about it. I'm not persuaded to go that way. Is that okay? It's not for show. Sure. Glory to Jesus. It's not for ostentation. Glory to Jesus. So, but she's blessed. So, in October 2008, because I was checking whether I was sharing share this or not. October 2008, are, are you with me? 2008 in October. 2008, October. So I was praying in the house. And God began to open to me the ministry of the Spirit. What do I say? What do I say? Now, as God began to open it to me, Show me stuff from Genesis about the operation of the Holy Spirit. How was it together? I remember God began to show me things about Joshua. I was not reading scriptures though. I was praying the Holy Ghost. And I began to have understanding. 
That's the time you used to have your paper with you, you're praying the Holy Ghost. That's not the times. Have your notes with you, you're praying the Holy Ghost. I remember clearly that it showed me that the power of talking Joshua's life is more than being able to uh, be a skillful sword user. It was the spirit of wisdom upon him that made all those things to work. And for him, there were strategies for war that God gave. I'm not talking to you guys. And the one battles, you know, the way he approached the land, all those things were based on God's spirit upon Joshua. I'm not talking to us. So, as that was happening, happening, then I had the full step from my back. But there was no visible person. I'm not talking to us. And I explained what the Bible said, and the Spirit entered me. I'm serious. Pow! Just helping. The Spirit of God entered me. Am I talking to you guys? Am I talking to you guys? Don't worry. These guys are blessed, though. Are we together? God is collapsing times for the two of them. Yeah. What is achieving their field in many years will be done in a short time. Yeah. Are we together? Are we together? So, so God enter me, bam, like that. And from that day, if I open a scripture, I see the revelation anointing. Am I talking to you? Am I talking to you? I can sleep and the, and the teacher will come and teach me. And I will now wake up and go and look at it. So what I've heard from scriptures are majorly taught, not studied. Do I study? Yes. But I've had what? Things been, I'm not talking to you guys. Then I could understand being transported into days of the scriptures. Are we together? A lot of people walk back to the future now. Movies that show you that somebody moved from 1988 to 70 something. Do you know what it? Do you think that can happen in scriptures? I'm telling you it happens in God. And that's why I can tell you stuff that you know I've seen there before. And that's when I preach about experiencing and expressing <laughs> resurrection life. And I shared about Stephen. You remember that? The Father's love. Remember that? That was not study, though. That was based on an encounter of seeing how Stephen was actually stoned. And then explaining it to us. Hallelujah. 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 Divine installation. Divine installation. So when I met Jonathan David... He used to say, what I carry. Do you understand? You know what I carry is another word for saying, such as I have. So I didn't understand the man. He would say, I know what I carry. So when I pray for you and alliance on you, you partake of what I carry. <laughs> That's why I go to Malaysia for the meeting. He would always say, what I carry. What I carry. So I'm like, ah, my mind, what you carry? <laughs> but that day, I carry something. There's all we carry in God. See, go beyond. Somebody prayed a prayer for me and I collected the person. No prayer can prayer for me. My voice is hard in the court of heaven. Hello? Uh -huh. Glory to Jesus. So, from there, scriptures begin to break open, seals break open. That's what I can tell you that when they say, they that are with us, I'm more than they that are with them. And I shared it. I'm not sharing from Bible study, I'm sharing from a grace. Are we together? Are we together? Are we together? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And many other things begin to unlock. Begin to unlock. It was after I came to Ife. It was after that I was praying and it was raining. And I thought it was raining because it was really raining. But for one reason, I checked the window, there was no rain. And it was still really raining. Kaya. Raining. Raining. And I to see, and then we'll go for meetings. I was sitting in those meetings. Even in the beginning, when we were at the meeting, we don't even understand it. Somebody came and said, hey, the person removed his cloth, removed the singlet. He said, feeling it. We just say, because if we go to eat, we will eat, we feel it. Because I'm not, do you, do you understand? Am I, am I talking to us? I did not understand what was happening. People had all kinds of manifestations. Are ah, you now? You're my witness. Soji, you're my witness in the meeting. Can you remember that meeting? He paid two meetings. Do you remember that meeting? Our witnesses here, they were debating. It was later that have updates and upgrades. I've got to understand those things. Are we together? Are we together? So this is the exist. That's why we need to stay in God's word. We need to do what? We need to do what? Go where possible the name of Jesus. Glory to Jesus. So this equipping, God equips us. We have to understand this. And we have to know that when we spend time in fellowship with scriptures, we will experience a keeping power. You do what? 
This is why you can have insight in that job that you are doing that others may not have as a child of God. We don't need any Baba anywhere except God. I'm not talking to us. I'm talking about you don't need any Juju anywhere. Anybody deceive you. Seek God, pursue God, and you have distinction in and to your life. Do you believe me? Do you believe scriptures? This is real. And in ministry, I've experienced installations. I've experienced equipping. I've experienced nurture. I'm not talking to you guys. Even as a lecturer, I've expressed this I'm talking about. So, I know, not just from scriptures, experientially, there's an equipping power of God's word. I can tell you, my God, that I know this nation, that I know them 15 years ago, and where they are now, they are not the same. Because why? Something happened to them. They keep unfolding. Are we together? They keep saying a new dimension in their life as they stay with God. So, what happens? These installations, this nurture, this equipping is one of the major reasons for that we move from glory to glory. Do you get it? How about you? There's an ever, there's the, the part of the righteous goes just brighter and brighter, sharper and brighter. This is why, even in character, we are cleaned, we are cleansed, and we increase in character. Do you understand this? Glory to Jesus. You know, I told somebody that not everybody fakes falling out that they're doing. I mean, I can somebody be sitting and fall down. There's no laying of hands, though. They are not standing. Abi? Yes, ah. So you cannot say, you can't figure out these things. It's the working of God, as we understood. And it shows you that angels are at work. Angels are what? Yes. When I was in Maesa for the meeting, Maesa. You know, these churches that have these benches, long bench, fun about it, they put a <laughs> in a book at the back. There was a kind of church. So there's no way you can fall this way or fall this way. They were falling sideways. Now look now. You know, do what? We're falling sideways. I said, this is what's happening here. When they need to pull somebody out, you pull them sideways, out of the row. Put them out this way, put them out this way. Hello? Do I do what? You cannot do that. Do you know what Bob said? Four chairs in the front. They went upward. Kilo day. And they move to the front. And they drop people on the chair, on the floor. And the chairs went back to the same row and read themselves. Uh-uh. Now. That one, can it be faked? That's why one of the areas you can really know the dimension of God is God's presence, the whole ministry of the Spirit. You cannot fake it. It's not read in books. Kim Ozo? God help us in Jesus' name. The God help us in Jesus' name. Are we together? Just follow me. So, this happens. The other one is the Artificial dimension. What do I call it? Now, they are not the same. Now, the other dimension is talking about unlocking, shout unlocking. Shout resident in me. A divine deposit. Say like you mean, say resident in me. A divine deposit. Say I'm a carrier of latent resident grace of God. So all of us have this in us that when you were born and as you grow, they were already wired into you waiting to be activated so the way it is is that sometimes you have some phones you have some laptops that come with certain softwares for them to work is activated i hope you know that i hope you know that it's activated hallelujah 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 Amen. so this one is that god unlocks those things that is already in you so when you are encountering God's word, there are things being unlocked within you. They are not coming from outside. They are already in you, and they are being unlocked. So we are experiencing both installations and unlockings within us. Have you together at all? Are you really with me? So when God spoke to Jeremiah, he said, before you were formed in the womb, wired into you, the deposit you carry into the world when you were born is a prophetic anointing. You have been ordained as a... Hey, are you getting my point? Let's go there. Let's go there. Jeremiah. Jeremiah, chapter 1. It says here, the words of Jeremiah, son of Achaia, of the priests that were in Anathoth, in the land of Benjamin. Anathoth is a city of priests. One of the city for priests is Anathoth, the scriptures. To whom the word of the Lord came in the days of Josiah, the son of Ammon, king of Judah. In the 13th year of his reign, he came also in the days of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, until the end of the 11th year of Zedekiah, son of Josiah, king of Judah, until carrying away of Jerusalem captive in the fifth month. 
Then the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And ordained the prophet of the nations. When? When? Before the father and the mother met at all. But at that father and the mother were they were in the city for priests, meaning that they were priests. And it was ordained that priests should become priests. And that was also from the tribe of Levi. How did you get at all? But this guy he was wired beyond the priesthood dimension. He was wired to become a prophet. So when this one came to Jeremiah, he was not having installation. He was having an unlocking. Are we together? The deposits of the prophetic grace to the nations are locked there. Are you with me? So there are some of us that you are already wired a particular way. That's why I said, for what I wired for, even without fasting, we still God's way to manifest. Fasting, we had much to eat. I mean, it's like when we say a fish can swim. I mean, in water. It is, it is so. Fish don't go to swimming school. They don't go to swimming school. They don't go to swimming school. Have you seen fish go to swimming school? Eh? Swimming school for fishes. Answer me now. So, activation locks the swim in the fish. Activation locks the drawer in the lion. Are you with me? They don't train lions to roar. As the lion grows, the lion will do what? Roar. Eagles that become eagles. Their mother will carry them. Up. Oh. And then as she's coming down, she will throw them. And because they have not learned how to soar, they begin to go down. They will carry them again. Then one day, the eagles as it's going down, goes up by itself. Shout activated. That means the soar gets activated. They don't go to don't see where they say school of swearing for eagles. Mm-mm. We are not a good for school of swearing. <laughs> Glory to Jesus. So this is a dimension that brings the swearing out of an eagle. It brings the roar out of the lion. The roar is not installed. The roar is brought forth. Do you get the point now? That's the point. Am I talking to us? Am I talking to us? And that's why when you are taught properly by the baptism of the Holy Ghost, you realize that you're a walking ass of power, living carelessly. Because as Peter speak, she said as he speak, the Holy Ghost came upon them. That's chapter 10. Now, when the Holy Ghost come upon people, two things happen. There's activations and impartations. Amen. What do I say? What do I say? The preaching of Peter in his day, the accuracy, the sharing, the way he was inspired to share was a thorough installation for a fisherman. Are you with me? For a fisherman. That's why they were dumbfounded when he shared. And then Peter was able to play side by side. Those that Peter shared were intelligence for his training. I mean, they were, they were too intelligent for the kind of training he had. Am I talking to us? Installations, they happen. So when you have the of the Holy Spirit, you are not just, you are another man. Something has happened to you. I mean, as a, me, as a new man, to, capacity has developed in you. But because we are not taught, a lot of people have, you speak in tongues, but you are not expressing the power that came by equipping of installation, that came by, by, by equipping of unlocking the vital that's in you. And so it can be very terrible to be a believer walking about with dormant capacities. See, I refuse. Stand to the Holy Ghost. Stand to the Holy Ghost. Stand to the Holy Ghost. I'm saying that some of you have been capacity in you, but it's dumb. And this morning, pray the Holy Ghost. Pray the Holy Ghost. You cannot continue to live that way. Dormant capacity. Dormant capacity must be activated. 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 In Jesus' name we are prayed. I have other examples, but I will not allow you to go there. Stand to your feet as we are here together. We are rounding off. The last one is what I call the illuminative dimension. Illuminative dimension. See, this is talking about you having spiritual sight. The entrance of God's word gives you light. That light gives you sight. Sight. Shout sight. What you are seeing dictates how you adjust yourself, dictates your pace, 
how you run, dictate your decisions. Sight is so important. Now, in this dimension, sight will change a lot of things. I want to have things that a lot of people don't have sight. Now, look at what happened in a popular story, Genesis chapter 13, when Lord separated from Abraham. Remember that story? Aha. God gave Abraham sight. That made a lot of difference. In Genesis 13, verse 13, Lord said unto Abraham, After Lord was separated from him, lift up now thine eyes, look for the place where thou art, northward, southward, eastward, and westward. For all that which thou seest, to thee I will do what? Give it. And to thy what? Sit forever. And I will make thy seed as dust of the earth. So if a man can number dust of the earth, then shall thy seed also be what? Numbered. Arise. This walk through the land is not a physical walk. Oh. In your spirit, in your heart, journey your inheritance. Do you understand? So listen, 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 listen. Is the one that declares the end from where? The beginning. From where? God declares the end from where? Now, listen, what does that mean? God shows you that I'll give you a business. That business will be all over West Africa. But it starts in some water. Do you understand my point now? When you have illumination, what do you do? You walk in your spirit into Ghana, into Syria. Am I talking to you guys? You walk into your, into Togo, Bene. Are you with me? Into West African nations. And you see your company there. You see the employees. Are we together? When you are praying in the womb of your spirit, you are seeing the future. Shout, I see the future. Shout, I'm not afraid of my future. I'm not afraid of my future. The illuminated power. Parako bakiam na baro si bakala barashte. How many spray Holy Ghost? Spray Holy Ghost. Spray Holy Ghost. Let me just spray Holy Ghost. Harapo ko ba ya bara gara barosha. Brako zuta bara bariashta. Arise and walk the land, the length of it, breadth of it. I will give it to you. You are a keep for your future. A keep for receiving, a keep for manifestation. By God is what that keeps you. He shows you things to come. Agiana Bashe, Shabara Baragana Badiosh, He Pranto Zopan de la Garabados, Hayabake Telago to Zucata Badiosh. What do you see? 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 In the next five years, what do you see? Next ten years, what do you see? Fifteen years, what do you see? 20 years, what do you see? What do you see? Hala bake de bodo godo managana badish. Abaki yabaki yabaki yabako loko to badiash. Eleke de bodo godo managana badege de bodo godo badiash. Johnny, 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 Johnny. Johnny, 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 Johnny. In the spirit, Hala bayash of revelation knowledge. Johnny, in the spirit of revelation knowledge. Barito Bakayande Brendo Arabuse Bakayam the Bali God is that here. Hey! Hey! God's are giving power, is changing, transforming. You do what you have been called to be. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Christ in you is the hope of glory. Christ in you is the hope of glory. Christ in and among you is the hope of glory. Is the hope of glory. Is the hope of glory. Areko Barindos, Herabak, Yadesh. Father, we thank you. Glory to God. Glory to God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Number 13, number 14, the spies came back and they brought a bad report. What is lacking? The illuminated power of the keeping power. 
they said that they saw the giants who were giants there and they said that they saw themselves as grasshoppers how do you see yourself this morning a grasshopper mentality cannot come to the promised land but Caleb said we are well able let us go at once and possess the land to walk in your inheritance you must see accurately are we together you must see accurately god's word never fails it never fails you cannot walk with a grasshopper mentality there are many walking with a grasshopper mentality it's a sight that puts you lower than who you are it's a sight that places to you an inferior version of your who you are shout i'm not inferior shout i'm not inferior see you must come to see yourself and like paul be able to say i am who i am by christ jesus who strengthens me are you with me at all bari to bakayam this this is all with the song this is all i with the song i see all that you have promised me and i say yes see when mary said be it unto me according to your word she was saying i'm conceiving without spam she said yes i believe that it's possible to conceive have a son without spam do you understand be it unto me according to your word what do you see this morning i see all take it some place I say yes. I say yes. I see how you promised me. I say yes. This morning I say yes. I say yes to God. I say yes. 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 No. I say yes. I say. I say yes, Lord. I say yes. Yes, 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 I see yes, all. yes, yes. I see all you promised me. I say yes. Oh, I see all you promised me. All you promised me. I say yes. Happy, happy, Hanakabandes. 
Eleketo Kobandes, Eleketo Mariandes, Eparo Kobaru Kaya Kuria Malasua, Araba Karobosia, Elekabadiandes, Araba Kabade, Ele Prakabarias, Aruzaba. Father, this morning, we believe I am giving power. Everyone in this church will rise in strength, in the nature and the stature of Christ. Everyone will walk in their destiny. You will walk in your inheritance. You will walk in your inheritance. You will walk in your inheritance. No one shall be left behind. We join individually. We join as a family. We join corporately into all of God for our lives. In the name of Jesus. Bali koto zeto barabadas Vraku zaba diyadabase Father, thank you We'll exalt you We'll exalt you Thank you for the blessing of your manifest presence All the time, all the time Thank you almighty God for your word coming expressly to us Opa koto baliash for many of you, I can see new opportunities, new doors open for you. New doors open for you. You will have testimonies to share by the end of this year. Because what God will do is not next year, it's this year. God is doing a mighty work, mighty work, mighty work in our midst. Shout good news. Everywhere in my house, in my place of work, in the shopping mall, everywhere I turn to, I receive good news. Shout yes! Father, we thank you. I will exalt your name. We we'll give you glory. We we'll give you honor. In Jesus, name we are prayed. Let's have our seats. All right. Sorry, what's the message in tongues? So you give the baby somebody that can interpret these tongues. Sorry, don't do that to be random. Sorry, give her the mic, please. So you please stand by to collect the mic. Sha akana o iaka namasi alina kadoka aina masi alakana mako odika anakande una anamase akadeke anina namasia. Uka akenda akunde na nika aina masi akali ada ina kande ukana kuiana ko iana mas uke anana ko akekosha ike kanda ko ilena akande pokonda ikanda bakadike akonde na na mana masi ina mazi akako ikele kada ikada ukanda konde kenda ikakuka ilena masi anakiasha osha akakoda ikana makadeko isha ikana masi
a new door has just opened because you are walking into newness 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 for i'm bringing you and i have yet brought you into an open awareness of who i've called you to be yes many look into the mirror and they say lord is this me for i the lord say that it is you it is you yes that is the real you for through the mirror i am unveiling you to you that you may rise and walk in stature that you may rise and walk in abilities that are placed in you that you may rise and walk into the things that i've written concerning you in the volume of the book for many are afraid and are saying lord can this be true for i the lord say yes i am i am saying the things for i call the things that be not as though they are yes arise in new stature arise in new understanding arise in new abilities arise for there is an unlocking new doors have opened and then i'm unlocking the door within that you may enter into the things that i've called you into arise in boldness arise in stature amen amen please don't reduce my mic next time like that please um just carry out and pray outside carry outside and pray out there hallelujah now please if you're in part of the workers team in church don't miss the meeting is the meeting on saturday um in september is very compulsory glory to jesus now everybody should try and sit down don't bother about the noise just try and sit down now this is not abnormal this is just normal amen and amen and amen this is something that has been lost in the church tongues and interpretation are very normal that's where we grew up we grew up in an atmosphere where there's tongues interpretation but however these things need to be taught needs to be what i've thought in the past about some of these things i may teach again because of the manifestations that we're having so everybody will understand at least some people that are new may not understand but at least everybody should understand what is happening if anybody is joining us get the message to go and listen to now please why i want us to be available for that meeting is that i can see some lapses that and those lapses i want to fix them by teaching is that okay so please if you are part if you're in a nice group try and be the meeting we're having last saturday we are not staying long just 9 a.m to 3 p.m we are done i promise you we'll try not to go beyond 3 p.m i promise you by god's mercy we are done and what i want to do that day is share some things then i will do some trainings on that day then i will repeat the teaching in church later on for good are not part of the house groups so in the house group and faithful stewards please be in that meeting it's very important there's a way you must understand if you don't understand of the spirit you can be wrong manifesting of the spirit you get it you get it that's why paul had to start to teach you know about tongues about interpretation not to teach about the gift of the spirit so that the manifestations can be in alignment and accuracy so he said i will not have you ignorant concerning spiritual gifts i would say that all those are said concerning spirituals because it's a spiritual gift i said because it's, it's teachable that spiritual gift there Starting spirituals, and you know, chapter that chapter 12, 13, 14, love is about spiritual. You cannot operate well in the gift of the spirit, and your love work, you know, is shallow, or your love work is faulty. And then chapter 14, he majored on many expressions, singing the spirit, singing the understanding, um, you know, prophecy, tongues and interpretation. I find that tongues and interpretation is very important to the local church expression. But truth is that because of certain reasons. And I think that's only to, I mean, to, to, to kind of beat on that again and again. We don't see that kind of thing again in our midst. Christ, I mean, I don't mean, I don't mean what I get to mean in the church body. We grew up with this normal vision in many churches. In those days, many churches, even some Baptist churches, this is just normal. In the Sunday service, you see, those interpretations are just normal. Am I talking to you? What only the normal, miracles normal. But a time came, there was a decline of this in the church. So I believe that God is restoring the church is are restoring things back to the churches hallelujah new songs were not like this but they were new songs songs that came with teachings that came with testimonies so that you have heard it was people that had their testimony they had those songs and they sang it hallelujah hallelujah so please also understand that so that when in church you can maximize the atmosphere of the spirit because what god is doing in the last days is a ministry of the spirit and the world so then come and sing that song what is your give him the mic so we're going to close with that song a simple song so we get the wordings so Thomas should try and type the wordings as he sings I can project it give him the mic please so as we take that I'll leave this place 
last minute to get ready. Let's go. the world and by prayer and by power we colonize the world and by spirit and by word we colonize the world and by prayer and by power we colonize we colonize the world and by spirit and by word we colonize we colonize the world and by prayer and by and we colonize by spirit and by word and we colonize the world and by prayer and by power yes we colonize the prophets prophesied as Joel prophesied we will see in our lands glory days glory reign glory days glory reign glory sound glory words glory days glory reign Glory sounds, glory ways, glory days, glory ways, glory, glory sounds, glory ways, glory days, glory ways, glory sounds, glory ways, glory days in the banks, in the families, in the churches, in the streets, in our lives. In Nigeria, in Africa, glory days, 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 Be on our feet. Glory sounds, glory waves. We sing it from the top. We colonize the world, and by spirit and by word, we colonize. Yes, we colonize. Yes, we colonize. Yes, we colonize. By the spirit. Yes, we colonize. We will see in our lands glory days, glory reign. As the prophets prophesy, as the world prophesy, we will see in our lands glory days, glory reign.
In the name of Jesus. Now, this was at our devotion. Just you know, we'll do something our devotion. So I was asking them some questions. Then came with the news. So you have this song. Let's have this in our devotion. So this is one of song in our devotion last Sunday. May your devotion be rich in the name of Jesus. May your devotion be rich in the name of Jesus. That our sons and daughters will begin to come up with songs in the house. And we'll bring it to church. Starting from the house to the church. Are we together? And then they will take it to the fellowships in their schools. Are you with me? Are you with me? That day we are here. So and I told her, I said, ah, you will sing this on Sunday. You sing this on Sunday. This one that you are singing. On Sunday, we are singing this. Did he bless you? And more is going to come. More is going to do what? So on Sunday, when you come to church, come ready to sing a new song. Come ready to sing. Because this is what is happening. For some reasons, I've decided that for the next two years, we are not singing any song from outside. It's not for anything though. God is doing the work in our means. I want to sing with our songs. Are we together? So we are still with our songs. We have a lot of songs. Before, because of some new people, I said they should mix it. Our songs, couple songs. But now, as you are here on Sunday, is a song from Watergate Church. I've told them, we are worship team. Are we together? Based on the workings of God in our means, I want us to just stay with that. I feel strongly. The next two years, let's just build deep. Build deep. And that day is going to come. The song from here will roll out to the ends of the earth. Are we together? What happened in Australia with his song will happen with the church. Because our worship team sound will go into the ends of the heart. It's not anything I'm telling you. Just join in the spirit. Say I see it. <laughs> uh -huh. If you have a revelation, you know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. So I pray for you in the name of Jesus once again. You will not live below what God has created you to be. You will not live below your potential in Christ Jesus. Everyone here will mature into all of God for your life in the name of Jesus. And God will help us in Jesus' mighty name. If you are blessed, give a loud shout of glory to God. 